personnel pour moi pour plusieurs raisons. Uh, it will be a um, quite emotional moment for me for different reasons. We have uh, we have invited you tonight to uh, open an exhibition that has been accessible for a couple of weeks now already, but we decided to do the vernissage now uh, because these are special times. Uh, it's a special opening for also for many reasons. The first obvious special reason is uh, that we live in special times. We have a, a health crisis all over the world and it makes me quite happy, also a little scared but more happy to see so many people uh, here in, uh, in our gallery. Um, it is not self-evident uh, that we can have an event like this. Uh, we are very grateful that this is possible here in Yaounde, but in order to, to uh, be able to offer you cultural programs, events of this kind in the future, it is very important that we all respect the rules that we all know. Please wear always your masks. Later you can play on the games, but when you play, Please wait till it has been till the keyboard has been disinfected, and then the next person goes. So and please try to keep a bit of distance. You all know the rules. This is very important that we that we respect those rules. So in the future we can have step by step have more events of that kind and maybe with even more people. Thank you very much. The second reason why this is a, a, a special opening uh, and a special opening for me is because it's my last regular event that I have the pleasure of opening. I will be leaving Cameroon uh, after five wonderful years um, for which I'm eternally thankful and I hope we have in these special times still the occasion for a, for a farewell event, for a, a special occasion to meet again. But this is the last regular uh, cultural event that I'm that I have the pleasure of opening and I want to thank Rafael and all our team to make this possible. We set the date today so I can be here because I just arrived from Germany. And uh, yes, so I hope it will be um, a worthy uh, opening, a worthy event. Thank you Rafael for everything. And uh, now let's talk about the exhibition. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't want to talk about the exhibition so much. I want to talk more about this new um, cultural technique, gaming or gamification. Um, most of you will be in an age still where um, gaming was considered to be something entertainment, a bit of a bit trashy for kids to play at home, to be entertained. But uh, since 15-20 years, uh, it cannot be denied that uh, gaming has become a, a cultural technique like cinematography, like literature, like installation art. Uh, so the, the, the forms of gaming and gamification have been used not only to entertain, but also to tackle different issues of society. And we are very proud, we at the Goethe Institute in Cameroon are very proud that this is already the second project that we have um, shedding light on this aspect. We had. Uh, in the framework of uh, the project Enter Africa, uh, we have developed a game here called Angola Land, which can still be downloaded, uh, which you can still play. We have some representatives here from, uh, from the Enter Africa group. This was the first time we, we dealt with the gamification as a tool to address a certain issue in society, to, to solve problems, and to use gaming in a different way than just for entertainment. This exhibition is an exhibition that has been curated by the Goethe Institute. It has traveled all over the world already. We're happy that uh, we have the means to present it to you here in, in Cameroon. I think it's something quite new to Cameroon. I don't think the, the subject has been addressed like this uh, before, like that. Uh, we have here uh, 16 games that deal with um, games and politics. So it is games which, uh, whose aim it is to make you think about certain issues of society. Uh, for example, we have here uh, the, the game uh, Papers, Please, which might be quite relevant for many Cameroonians because it's, uh, the, the player is a, is, a, is a border control officer who has to decide who to let in the country and who not. 
So this is an issue which is very relevant in these times, especially also in COVID-19 times, with travel restrictions, and, and it helps you um, understand and take a different point of view, and at the same time as it is entertaining. And I think there's many, many great examples uh, of games like this. We have also a video, we have uh, three videos that you can watch here that explains you a bit the, the background of gaming and gamification. And I also uh, would like to um, recommend you to have a look at the catalog. There's a brilliant foreword by Jeanette Neustadt, who has been the main curator of this exhibition. Uh, it is in German and English, uh, but that's not a problem for you, I'm sure. Have a look, and um, I would be happy if you, if you get, got into this new uh, cultural technology and give it the respect it deserves meanwhile. Um, if you have any questions for about the exhibition, we have two very, very able colleagues uh, that deal with the exhibition. Uh, Aziz Misse and Mayuma Muise, who will be here all the time, who make sure uh, they, uh, they answer all your questions and, and see that everything works. Uh, I would also like to thank um, Sipo Sevon for the installation and of course uh, all my colleagues Soraya Sone, Pipa of course and all the technical teams, again Raphael, because it's always such a pleasure. Um, they do all the work and I just come here at 6.30 to speak in the microphone. Uh, ce que vous pensez de ces jeux conçus par les indépendants En fait, au niveau visuel, les designs sont assez expressifs et très beaux. Maintenant, euh, la prise en main, euh, le prime abord, elle semble facile, mais il y a un souci de langue. Je pense qu'elle sera encore plus facile pour ceux qui, sont, qui parlent bien l'allemand. C'est ce que je me dis. Pensez-vous qu'elle répond à la thématique Game and Politics Bon. Je ne me prononcerai pas trop parce que, euh, comme je dis, il y a un souci de langue à mon niveau. Et, mais au niveau des designs et des images, si j'interprète des marais sémiologiques, euh, il y a beaucoup de, de signes qui montrent qu'il y a un rapport entre les idées des hommes et le contexte dans lequel ils vivent. Donc forcément, il y a un rapport avec la politique. Je vous remercie. Merci.
Bonsoir, bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir. Vous pouvez -vous nous donner vos impressions sur cette exposition itinérante Alors, euh, déjà, je trouve que l'initiative est très bonne. Euh, parce que dans cette exposition, euh, dans ce sens d'exposition, on trouve pas mal de thèmes liés à, à l'homme. Donc on a les thèmes qui portent sur la divergence des de gens, sur la guerre, euh, sur la politique. Et notamment tous ces thèmes qui sont liés parce que ces thèmes euh, concernent l'homme en général. Les conflits et tout ce qui va avec. Moi, par exemple, euh, un jeu qui m'a euh, beaucoup intéressé, c'est un homme à C'est un homme qui vit euh, pour tuer. Donc, il, il vit pour tuer, mais il a euh, toute une histoire au, 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 autour de lui. Il est piloté, donc toute sa vie se résume à tuer. Il est commandé pour, pour tuer, c'est un peu ce qu'on appelle les, les mercenaires. Donc, il est payé pour tuer, mais tout ce qui tue, euh, à un certain moment, il y a des répercussions euh, autour de lui. Et, et psychologiquement, il ne se sent pas bien parce que euh, consciencieusement, quand on tue, quand on appelle à tuer, et cela euh, appelle à notre euh, fort intérieur. Donc c'est un jeu qui, euh, qui est assez intéressant, tout comme tout l'ensemble des, des jeux euh, ici dans, dans la salle d'exposition. Je vous remercie. Je vous remercie. Merci. Ok, merci. Tu as toujours mon phone number. J'ai ton phone number, j'ai tout. C'est comment Thank you.